Street Fighter V and Street Fighter Three. There's a character named Alex, who I really like the the character. He's he's huge. He's buff, but he, he's also like humble about it. But his uh, his walk on, you know, when he's he's about to start the match, comes in and he rolls his arms. He's got to do this. Does the same thing with his neck. Just rolls his neck like he's constantly having to pop his shoulders and his neck. And uh, one of his moves is that he can like he rolls his arm. It looks like a taunt, but he's like powering up, which I did not know for the longest time. I thought it was just a taunt until I saw low tier god. Take care, Charles. Low tier god ban somebody or time somebody out in his chat for for thinking it was a taunt. Because uh, because low tier god is really secure in himself. Okay, so we're, I'm looking at, oh, two pair. Two pair high four. I just, nice. I see two pair high four. Let's try again. Okay. There was one number different, but the high number in poker is the only one that matters. So. Oh, okay. I see, oh, full house. <laughs> full house. Let's go for it. And of course, you'll beat it. Mm. Uh, so I would like to be, I can't take back that I just saw my hand, but I'll, like, I'll be on the play. That's usually what you do. All right. Are you ready? Keeping? Yep. Let's see. I would like to go Inventor's Fair, Soul Ring, St uh, stop me whenever you need. Mm-hmm. Um, Mana Vault? Yep. Not sure if I got a message there or something. Uh, still one floating. Oh, there's your phone. Okay. Yep. Uh, Chalice on zero? Sure. Actually, I don't need a die for that. <laughs> That's not how that works. Um, these make mana, so we're going to scooch them down here. And pass the turn. What the heck? There we go. Float away. That one of Chalice, man. Ooh. So, yeah, knowing if I didn't know, because it's a one-lander, I might have gone on the draw, but then there's also a Chalice, and I get to do all this. When I, like, peeked at my hand earlier, I saw, oh, no land. Okay. Ah! Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I see what we're on. I see what we're up against. Okay. Well then, um, time to do all the things. You've seen this deck before. It's been a while, but you've seen this deck. Coveted Jewel. Mm -hmm. All right, ETB, draw three. One, two, three. Make three mana. Oh. Uh, well, I can take this a number of ways. Giggy. Um, <laughs> I can't help myself sometimes, I'm sorry. Uh, Phyrexian Metamorph, come in as a copy of Coveted Jewel. I'm gonna take the two. Um, draw three. And because I know it's Eldrazi, I'm just gonna, I'm assuming you're F6. I think that's a safe assumption. I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, hmm. That's, Usually this this can go further than that, but we we missed it a little bit, I'm afraid. Uh, Foundry Inspector. Yep. Free Voltaic Key. Yep. Still haven't played my land yet. I don't want to do it now, but I think I have to. I'm going to go Wasteland. Yep. Um, I tap Voltaic Key, untap one of the Coveted Jewels. Mm -hmm. Tap it for um, choose your own adventure, I guess. I'm going to do um. Yeah, we're just going to do Joyra's Familiar. 
makes them cost one less, even less. Uh, free lightning greaves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, equip lightning greaves. Combat. Hit you for three. That's all I got. Pass turn. That's all. Oh, hi. Thought not. Nope. Yep, yeah, endless, endless one. one. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um, so let me think about the mana ball real quick. I, I don't think I'm worried about paying the one. And this only counts uh, attacks and isn't blocked. So I won't be handing it to you if I don't pay the ball. Um, but I can also just use key and untap it. I heard J. Um, I I can also sack Inventor's Fair. Yeah, it, it's it's fine. I'll just I'll probably end up just paying the one. And I can also sack Inventor's Fair here. Let's see if I were to go one. To buckle my shoe. What does Inventor's Fair get? As if I don't know the answer. Hmm. Alright. So we can do. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take the one and draw a card. Maybe it'll come off the top. That counts. That definitely counts. Holy crap, that counts. I heard the phone go off. All right, three mana, Kaldotha Forge Master. Mm -hmm. Quit. You know where this is going, my friend. Uh, just to get another one out. Trinisphere. Sure. Tap it. Sack. Trinisphere. Key. You know what? We can keep. We can keep the key just in case. Um, it doesn't matter. The game's the game's over. We're gonna get a Blightsteel Colossus. It's not actually over. You can block, but you know. Yeah, no. There's Blightsteel. Equip the Blightsteel. I would like to go to combat. Yep. Rar. Swing 11. Yeah. So that's this deck doing its thing. Did the turn one chalice on zero? Yeah. I'm sorry, dude. It's a one of. It just, it happens. I think there's a scene like that in all kinds of shows, right? In anime. The, the character has to, they can't see and they still have to fight. It's a, it's a ninja trope. Yeah, I started watching one of the newer animes on Netflix. The other not no something like that in it. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I think I vaguely remember that being a thing in Dragon Ball as well. Uh -oh. I'm not gonna keep it. Alright. Ooh! <laughs> uh, um. Um, oh, oops, sorry. Shut a little bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say you wouldn't side out your captains. <laughs> Man, I, I think I would like to keep. I'm on the draw, and you're on the mull. You're mulling, so I think it's okay. But check this out. This is this is risky business. This is risky business, YouTube. Risky business. We're going to try it. See if we can get there. Maybe. I can't keep it No! No, not like this. Freebie. I'm calling it freebie. You get to go back to six. This is casual. This is not tournament. I don't mind. No one likes to lose to their deck. 
Ay, ay, ay. It's what Belcher players and Aaron Campbell deserve. No, no. Aaron Campbell's a dredge player. So dre and vintage dredge especially. So if you're if you're a vintage player, vintage dredge, you know the name of the game. You know it's draw bizarre or or lose. So you signed up for that. Sure, I'll keep. All right. Okay. All right. Pass turn. Yeah. Pass turn. Right. Okay, well, do I get the three bow? No. No, we're gonna actually play a real turn this time. Uh, Ruby? Soul Ring? Um. Ancient Tomb, taken two. Jory Rose Familiar. Free key. Pass turn. Hold your eyes. All right. the time just to keep them separate taking two and one coveted jewel mm -hmm. one two three oh awkward uh, float one well I, I could just pay no we're, we're gonna pay the life so I'm going to float one, Rexy Metamorph, one, two, comes in as a copy of Coveted Jewel, draw three. Sometimes this deck feels sick. That's because it is. Um, do it again. Float one, Rexy Metamorph, take two, one, two, three. Um, Mana Crypt. So, one, two. Uh, spend the two floating. Three, seven, three which is blue. We're going to spend uh, all but blue, blue on another coveted jewel. Alright, draw three. One, two, three. Pearl. So, two in the pool. Um, why did you have to show up so late, buds? Alright. I'm, I'm trying to run through how this is going to work, because uh, this is, I, I think we're good, but I'm not sure yet, so we're going to go spend, look at that, two mana, mm -hmm. so none left in the pool. Um, one, Inspector, Free Lightning Greaves, alright, two mana Forge Master, equip, no I don't have a Blight, st oh. Blight Steel's in my hand, okay. Blight Steel's in my hand. So, yeah, there, there that is. So that's what's making this a little tricky. Um, if you let me untap, 
then I'm gonna have the mana to cast mm. the Blight Steel. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't actually think that deck can do anything from mm -hmm. here. So the idea is supposed to be Forge Master tap, sap three of these to get. Oh no, no, wait a minute. I have Time Vault. Okay, so never mind. You are you are dead. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get Time Vault. There. Yeah. Okay. So now, now you're, now you're just dead. Whee. Yeah, th that was turn. Wait, was that turn? No, it wasn't really turn two because we kept doing the wasteland strip mine dance. But I think that was my second like actual turn, wasn't it? Because oh, I didn't play a land yet. I was trying to hold back the land drop until I could find Academy, so that I could cast the Blight Steel in hand. But didn't want to show up. The joys of one ups. So for sideboards, I brought in two Warm Coil Engine. It is a way to beat Null Rod and. It just is a big creature to go against his big creatures. And dismember, to, so if he sticks a creature and it hits, it can take Cuffeted Jewel. Uh, well, this will kill Thought Knot, a small, Endless One. It'll kill Reality Smasher and not Aimbringer. But it, it gets rid of them for a little while. Uh, for cards I took out, Chalice on the, on the draw, I bring it back in on the play. Took out a Trinisphere because it doesn't do much against him at all. All those creatures are big enough that Trinisphere doesn't do anything to them. Sphere, m much the same. Uh, it, it can hurt me too, but it's a necessary evil. So if I were on the play, I would put the Chalice back in and take out another uh, Sphere of Resistance. So there's that. 